Hi guy, um, this is a very uh, small video tutorial. The idea of this video tutorial is that you could uh, create your own greeting cards, your holiday greeting cards using V-Ray. So in this video, we are going to show you how to illuminate the light on your greeting cards. So I'm going to show you the greeting card samples that I made using V-Ray. So it's this one. As you see here, we have some light in this area, some Christmas lights, and the idea is try to uh, illuminate the lights, something like that. Uh, for sure, the glow effects is made in Photoshop, but the main idea is to illuminate the the the, the lights. So I want to show you what I did in terms of the modeling process. I just modeled everything, the lights and even the the coil. I modeled the coil because if you want to create a close-up of the light so it's a very good idea to have a very detailed model. Very detailed model means a very good render. So this is the the light the, and the coil. And I want to make a render of this coil. I already applied the material for the plastic for the green plastic and for the uh, glass on the bowl so I will uh, create a material for the coil but let's create a render and see what we have in this render as you can see everything is um, clear I'm using an HDR light to illuminate the scene so I don't have any other light in the scene and HDRI with a very low multiplier to create this kind of dark a scenario so this is the light with the coil inside during the rendering I'm going to create the material for the um, light so I want to right click here add a material in this time I'm, go I'm going to use a uh, emissive material so I will just put emissive to illuminate the coil but I don't want to use the emissive material to produce illumination in the scene and because a very high intensity in a very small material you could get splotchiness. So let me change the color kind of one. Um, I want to increase the multiplier to 50. And I will apply the material to the coil and just to blow up a little bit the the everything there I will apply the material on the coil and on the contact so on those material so right click and apply material so that's it I will create a render windows just to render the bulb with light so render windows and create a render windows to see what we have now I apply the uh, emissive material to my light and I should get some illumination but not enough to produce a really nice um, light so the next step is add uh, omni light to support or to increase the illumination in the scene so I'm gonna click here on the light and I'm going to put the light just right there in the coil and the uh, the omni lights tend to produce uh, sharp shadows so I will increase the radius to 2 to blurry the shadows and I would like to use inverse square and the unit I'm going to change the units instead of using um, scalar I'm going to use lumens so um, I will try with 50 lumens and also the color just change to a one color because this light is not a lit light it should like a candle light so that's it there we go so now I have the, um, the omni light and the emissive material um, 50 lumens and the unit is lumens and the decay is inverse square so you can see here the how the light looks. It's kind of nice illumination, but not 
too bright to illuminate the model and this is what I want because if I uh, increase the multiplier of these lights I'm going to produce splotchiness everywhere so let me cancel the render and again make a render windows with just this part of the model in this way making a combination between omni lights and uh, emissive, emissive material you could achieve a really nice result without uh, wasting time or without splotchiness because the sampling inside the omni lights are really good so I'm gonna cancel this render and I'm going to make a uh, full render to see the final result so I'm gonna cancel that and then I'm gonna make a full render and for now I'm gonna pause the video to see the final result okay imagine that this this happened with only one light but if I open every single light in my model and every single details in the model I will get a really 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 nice greeting card for your company or to share with your friends so this is the our greeting cards is this one we are going to uh, put or to share the, the scene with you guys so you are going to be able to download the scene and get some idea get the material and have fun with the greeting card so let's go back to the render I'm gonna pause the video for now and wait until the final result here we go guys this is the render <coughs> almost the final render you can see how nice uh, illumination you have in the floor and also in the lamp again if you turn on up all the layer you are gonna have this scene here and this is the final render so thanks for watching and happy holiday from ASU Beats and enjoy this video bye bye guys